Hi, fifth grade. This is Miss J. Today is Monday, April 6th, and today we're going to be reading an excerpt from Trading Places by Claudia Mills. Before we get started, you should have a tab open with the text, and you should also have scratch paper and a pencil or pen to annotate. Now, before we even jump into the text, you're going to ask yourself, is this a fiction or non-fiction text? Take a moment to preview the text and decide. Awesome! Now that you've taken a moment to preview the text, you will see that it is a fiction text. As you're reading the text, you're going to be tracking how mom's attitude changes over the course of the text and what the family does for this change. You're going to be annotating and underlining evidence that will prove that. So now I want you to pause the video, read the text, and then head over to Google Classrooms to answer your multiple choice questions. Then you're going to come back to the video and then we'll go over the questions together. Welcome back. So now we're gonna jump into our reading, reading multiple choice questions. Question number one. What do details in paragraphs one through five suggest about Amy and Todd? So now we're going to scroll up and revisit those paragraphs. I want you to take a moment to reread paragraphs one through five. As you're rereading the paragraphs, I want you to think about what are you learning about Amy and Todd? Let's go ahead and have a look. So we learned that Todd likes math homework. In the text it reads, math homework was another. Todd knew other kids thought it was strange to like having math homework, but he did. So that's something that we learned about Todd. Also says he loved looking at a neat page of calculations and knowing that he had all had them all 100% right. So we'll go ahead and underline that as well. Now let's underline what we've learned about Amy so far. Todd looked at Amy so lost in her book that she didn't seem to register their mother's presence in the room. That evidence shows, shows us that Amy loves to read. So now let's go down to our answer choices. The information we just underlined will help us figure out what our best answer is. So. B, Todd is more focused on school than Amy is. But we saw in those paragraphs that Amy wasn't focused on school. Her interest was reading. So we can cross that out. Oops. C, Todd is more interesting in watching TV than Amy is. Was Todd interested in watching TV? No, he wasn't. He was interested in his math homework, right? That's something that he loved to do. So C is incorrect. D, Todd has a different reaction to his mother's voice than Amy does. In paragraphs one through five, it doesn't really discuss a difference in the reaction to their mother's voice, right? It does mention her quiet voice, but it, but it doesn't talk about a difference in Todd and Amy's reaction. So this 
is incorrect as well. So A, Todd has different interests than Amy does, would be our best because Todd's interest was his math homework and Amy was really interested in reading. Question number two. What does the word straggled in paragraph five suggest about Todd, Amy, and their father? So let's scroll up to paragraph five. Amy put her book down then, and the three of them straggled into the kitchen. If they had had tails like Wiggy, the tails would have been tucked between their legs. Think about what is this paragraph telling us? The three of them straggled into the kitchen. Do they want to go into the kitchen? and clean up like mom asked? Did the three of them want to go into the kitchen after mom's voice sounded menacing? Probably not. So let's think about what straggled means. Let's scroll back down and look at our answer choices. A, they're trying to keep the mother from seeing the kitchen. Well, we know that when we read paragraph six, mom had already seen the kitchen. So A is incorrect. B, they are determined to finish the work in the kitchen. Based on those paragraphs, Todd, Amy, and their father didn't start any work in the kitchen because mom saw that it was a mess. So that's incorrect. C, they want to keep close together in the kitchen. We know that's incorrect because we know that they didn't want to go into the kitchen. D, they want to avoid going into the kitchen. D would be our best answer because we know based on what we read in paragraph five that they weren't too excited about going into the kitchen and having to clean up their mess. Number three, why does Todd and Amy's father refuse to look at the 60 minute gourmet book? So we know from what we read from the text, mom gave them 60 minutes to clean up and to have dinner ready on the table. Now, if they're cooking for 60 minutes, They wouldn't have time, they wouldn't have time to clean up and make a meal. So let's think about our best answer choices here. He thinks that they do not have the skills to make the recipes. No, that would be incorrect because mom knew that they had the skills and that's why she gave them that task. B, he knows the family does not have the right ingredients. Nope, mom just went grocery shopping, so she had all of the ingredients. D, he thinks that the mother will dislike the meal. There's no evidence in the text that tells us that mother would dislike the meal. So C, he knows that the recipes will take too long to make, is our best answer. Number four, the narrator's description of the conversation in paragraphs 11 through 13 shows that, let's take a look at our answer choices, and then I want you to scroll back up to paragraphs 11 through 13 and figure out what our best answer would be.
So now with rereading paragraphs 11 to 13, let's go back and see what our best answer choices are. A, the family has different ideas about a balanced diet. That A wouldn't be our best answer, answer choice because Todd and Amy both knew what a balanced diet was. Amy just says that mom doesn't really care if they have the whole pyramid just as long as it looks balanced. And dad had no idea what the food pyramid looked like or how it worked. So that wouldn't be the best answer choice. B, Amy knows which foods her mother likes best. That wasn't discussed in paragraphs 11 through 13, so that wouldn't be the best answer. C, Todd has experience with cooking. Nowhere in the text does it say that Todd had experience with cooking. He mostly talked about a study about the food pyramid at school last year and how the food pyramid suggested that you eat lots of fruits and vegetables. D, the father relies on children's knowledge. This would be the best answer choice because in paragraph 11, he asks, how does the food pyramid work? That's letting us know that he's getting knowledge about it from his children. Number five, the illustration best supports the information provided in which paragraph? So you're gonna scroll up to paragraph 12, 13, 24, and 27 and figure out which paragraph does the illustration best support. This is our illustration, it's the food pyramid. Which paragraph does it best support? It would be paragraph 12 because paragraph 12 discusses the pyramid. There on the bottom of the pyramid, the wide part, you're supposed to eat a lot of grains and cereals. Then there on the bottom of the pyramid, the white part, talking about where the grains and cereals belong. And also, and hardly any fats and sugars, there's a little point at the top. And eat lots of vegetables and fruits and protein too. So paragraph 12 is supported by the illustration of the food pyramid. So A would be our best answer, cho answer choice. Number six, how does paragraph 28 relate to paragraph eight? So you're going to go back to paragraph 28 and paragraph eight, reread them and try to find the connection between the two. Paragraph eight is where mom tells Todd, Amy, and father what she expects for them from them, which is the kitchen to be cleaned up, groceries put away, a decent meal with every part of the food pyramid on the table in 60 minutes. Paragraph 28 discusses what they did to prepare for the meal. So A, paragraph 20 provides further details about the problem. Wouldn't be the best answer because paragraph 28 doesn't discuss any problem. Paragraph 28 presents a summary of the tasks that are introduced. That happened in paragraph eight of all the things that mom asked them to do. So C wouldn't be our best answer. D, paragraph 20 explains how the meal is unlike mother's request. Paragraph 20 doesn't explain at all 
whether or not the meal was was mom's request. So that wouldn't be our best answer either. B, paragraph 28 shows the result of the mother's instructions would be our best answer. We can infer that before they started to make the meal, they cleaned up, put the groceries away in order to find all of their ingredients and then was able to cook their meal. And then they were able to cook their meal. That's all we have for reading for today. If you don't have a writing prompt that follows, you'll answer your writing prompt for tomorrow's lesson.